Okay. Parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, in case you ever see me, and you will, use these symbols. Parallel lines. Two um, vertical lines next to each other. Technically, they should be straight. Two vertical lines next to each other. Parallel lines. That's a symbol for parallel. Perpendicular is like an upside down T. Okay, that's a symbol for perpendicular. So if you see me use these symbols, that's what it means. Um, parallel lines. Um, if you look at parallel lines, they never cross, they never intersect. So what do they have in common? They have the same rate of change, which means they have equal slopes. So parallel lines have equal slopes. Perpendicular lines intersect, but they intersect particularly at 90 degrees. Perpendicular means 90 degrees. Perpendicular angles are 90 degree angles. So perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at 90 degrees. So, you know, there are other lines that intersect, but if they're not intersecting at 90 degrees, they're not perpendicular. So these have opposite reciprocal slopes. So um, equal slopes, let's say y equals 2x minus 3. And another equation, y equals 2x plus 4. These are not the same lines. They have different y-intercepts, but they have the same slope. So they're going to, in this case, increase in the same rate of change. So therefore, they are parallel lines. Perpendicular lines, let's say this was 2 thirds x plus 3, um, have opposite reciprocal slopes. So opposite means one is positive and one is negative. Reciprocal means flip it. So the reciprocal of this is three halves. Opposite of this is negative. So they're opposites. This is positive and this is negative. Sorry, I forgot. And they're reciprocals. I flip it. So opposite reciprocal slopes are um, perpendicular lines. Um, you could be asked if two lines are um, parallel or perpendicular. You could be asked to find an equation of a line that is parallel to another. So write the equation of the line. Let's say part A. Through the point 4, 5, uh, perpendicular to the equation 2y is equal to 4x plus 3, or minus 3. So this is not my line. Not my line. This is a line that I'm perpendicular to. So anytime you write the equation of a line, you need a slope and a point. I have my point of my line, but I don't have my slope. This is where this comes into play. This is a line that's not my line, but I'm using it to find the slope of my line. So, all right, how do I find the slope of this line? Well, it's not in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to have to put it in slope-intercept form, which means I have to isolate y on the left, which in this case means dividing everything by 2. 4 halves is 2 minus 3 halves. This is the y-intercept of this line, but I don't really need this. The slope of this line is 2. But this is not the slope of my line. Here's my line over here, my line. My line goes through the point 4, 5. My line is perpendicular to this line. Remember that 2 is also known as 2 over 1. And because I'm perpendicular to this line, that means the slope of my line is the reciprocal of that, which is 1 half, and the opposite of that. So I'm using this equation to get the slope of my line. And once I get my slope, I do not need it anymore. Use it, throw it away. I need the, the slope of this line, so I put it in slope-intercept form just to get the slope. And I'm using that slope to get the slope of my line. Now, because my line is perpendicular, it's an opposite reciprocal slope. If it were parallel, it would be the same. Then I'm going to write the equation of this line. Now, you could use slope-intercept form or point-slope form, whatever you want. But let's assume that I use slope-intercept form. What do I know about this? The only thing I know right now is the uh, slope. I need to determine the y-intercept. And this is not a y-intercept because the x-coordinate is not zero. So this is another method to writing the equation of a line. You could just plug this point in. When y is 5, x is 4. y is 5, 
x is 4, I can use that to solve for b. That's one method. Um, another method is to use point-slope form, which is in one of my other videos. Now, if I multiply these two, negative 1 half times 4 over 1, I get negative 2. Add 2 to both sides, I get 7 is equal to b. So the equation of my line has a slope of negative 1 half x, uh, slope of negative 1 half times x um, plus 7. So this is the equation of my line in slope intercept form. Okay? Unfortunately, you might also be asked to write the equation of your line in standard form. But you have to go through slope intercept form to get to standard form anyway. So what if I want your equation in standard form? You need to put it in the form ax plus by equals c. Well, that means I need to get this x term to the left. So I have to add this whole thing to the left, which makes it a positive 1 half x plus y equal to 7. Right? Bring this whole thing over. y stays here, and then 7 stays there. But in standard form, the coefficient of x cannot be negative, and it cannot be a fraction. So I have to clear out this fraction. And to do that, I multiply everything by its denominator, which in this case is 2. 2 times 1 half is 1, so I get x plus 2 times y is equal to 2 times 7. And this is the equation of this line in slope-intercept form and in standard form. You could be asked for either form, okay? But um, you should know how to do both forms also. But they're both the same line. So again, um, I only gave you this equation here so that you can use it to get your slope. I want you to do that. You are done. One more quick example, write the equation of a line through the point 3, 2, parallel to the equation x is equal to 4. Now I want to do this one because of this special equation. What type of line is this? Any line that has the equation x is equal to number is a vertical line. This is a vertical line. So what would be parallel to a vertical line? Another vertical line. My line is over here. Here's my line over here. Right? Now my line is uh, vertical to this line. Well, this line has an undefined slope. So my line also has an undefined slope. But it goes through the point 3, 2. Now if it has an undefined slope, that means it's a vertical line, which makes sense because it's parallel to another vertical line. And therefore has the equation x is equal to the x coordinate of the point that it goes through. Done. So don't forget about those other types of lines, the horizontal and the vertical lines also, okay?